TypeScript is still hard to work with. Even though I've been using it almost exclusively for about two years, I still find myself really frustrated at trying to find the right resources for implementing TypeScript in a given project that I'm working on. Let me show you what I'm talking about by showing you a quick example inside of React. So inside of this code, I wanna have two callback functions for on mouse enter and on mouse leave. So two callback functions for this video element. For reference, what I wanna do is when I enter into this video, show the controls, and then when I exit, start a countdown timer to then remove the controls a few seconds later. So that's what I'm trying to do. And I define both of these functions and like any good event callback, it's gonna take an event as a parameter. By default though, this is just showing me a function that then takes an event and is basically typed as any. This means I don't get any IntelliSense into what the properties are that this event has by doing dot. So at this point, I obviously wanna make this a TypeScripty definition, a TypeScripty function, but how do you do that? Where do you start? I'll actually show you a trick that someone showed me on Twitter in a few seconds but I didn't know this trick and I was frustrated for a long time of how to find this. So let's say you go to your browser and you search react mouse leave type script. Surely the documentation for react would pop up and show us this. Well, we scroll through the documentation or through the examples on here, we don't see a react link from the react docs until like over 10 links down. But if you click on that, it's to the outdated docs. So where would you go from this? Well, you could select one of these random articles from wherever and you can go and look and this one has a lot of information on the mouse leave event and eventually you get down to an example of how this works. But this is one of my big issues with TypeScript is the frameworks haven't done as good of a job as they should with being able to support developers that want to use TypeScript with that framework. In React, for example, I shouldn't have to go to random articles from other people to figure out how to do something in TypeScript that I should be able to find easily and searchable with the React documentation. None of those links popped up were to valid React documentation and I can't wrap my head around why a modern framework where so many people use and so many people use it with TypeScript wouldn't have searchability for this type of thing because this is code that people are gonna write all the time. Now I mentioned that I posted about this on Twitter, my frustrations, and it's actually one of the most popular tweets that I've done in a long time, not intentionally, but I was just kind of complaining about how difficult it is for me to find what exactly the handler definition is in TypeScript. Now, some people in here commented with tips and tricks. I'll show you those in a second, but one of the comments really stands out to me, which is this isn't a TypeScript problem. This is a React problem. And that's really interesting to me. So one of the things that I did was respond to that and talk about the impact of the ecosystem on the success of any given product. And if you look at TypeScript, it has become a first class citizen in so many different frameworks in React and Next.js and Astro and SvelteKit. We'll talk more about those in a second as good examples. But basically TypeScript is only going to be as successful as the ecosystem that supports it. If people are using frameworks where they don't have the tools and the documentation to be able to implement it successfully, people are gonna find TypeScript more and more challenging, which is where I find myself at moments because I just know I need a type. I just don't know what it is. I want someone to tell me, I want the documentation to make it much clearer. So to the point about TypeScript and React being separate or React it being React's problem and not TypeScript, I really disagree because I think it's the ecosystem that really has the impact on whether or not TypeScript continues to be more and more successful, which it already is. I'm just surprised at times that it's not farther along. So I mentioned that several people had comments of how they can find this out. And there's actually a really nice hack or tip trick, whatever you want to call it to be able to do this. So if we look inside of VS code, if we look on the mouse enter, so if we hover on mouse enter, it actually shows us the definition of what the callback function should look like. So we can actually copy and paste directly from there, go back to the mouse enter, and then we can define this function to meet those criteria. So we're saying this function is of type mouse event handler, and then it takes, it takes a generic of type T, which is the HTML video element. Now this is the thing that would change based on the different element that it is that we're tracking mouse enter. So I guess we could have HTML div element or whatever it is that we're working with. In this case, it's video element. Now, the important part about this is because we tag this as the video element, we should be able to go into our event, get the current target, and then be able to see things like the source property for the video. Notice this is all typed for the HTML media element. So we're getting specific information about the specific element that we're handling this event handler for, which is why we want TypeScript in the first place. Now there's one alternative to this. Right now we're defining the type of the function as a whole. Instead, or alternatively, we could just define the type of the parameter that it accepts. So if we then hover again, more tricks on mouse event handler, 
we can see that this is a function that has an event and it is of type react dot mouse event t come back to that and then mouse event so we could get rid of the function definition and then we could come into the type and give a type to that i think i copied in event twice we could get rid of this and then this is saying this is for a mouse event of something generic but in this case we have to tell it what it is which is a video element and then it's a mouse event. So in this case, we still get the, the TypeScript IntelliSense for current target and then the source property, et cetera. And it still knows it's an HTML media element. Now, the reason that this was tricky to me is because I didn't think about coming back and hovering here to figure out what that TypeScript definition was. I created my function first and then was going to Google where the lack of resources really made it frustrating for me to know exactly what I'm supposed to do. Again, there's articles that do it that are probably great, but I want to know something official from the documentation so, so that I'm not having to guess because I feel like I've spent a lot of time doing this in the past. Now, I thought this would be true for a lot of other frameworks as well, but I've actually found that some other ones have made some really good adjustments to this. Astro is one of my favorite ones. And if we look at something on Astro for like defining endpoints, they define endpoints first with a TypeScript file, but no actual TypeScript inside of it. Then as you scroll down, they say, all right, if you actually want to type this, here is the type that you can use for defining an API route in Astro. So they give it to you right there. Now, if you go down a bit further, you can see examples of this for all of the HTTP methods, all of them typed as API routes. You then know what the request is and get IntelliSense from that. Now, another one that is really useful is the SvelteKit documentation. And I like this one a lot because they have a toggle, which is what I think every framework should have for every piece of documentation, you should have JavaScript and a toggle to get to TypeScript. Let's actually zoom in. This is a little more obvious. So let's just scroll down to like a server piece of code that runs on the server. There's JavaScript, here's TypeScript. You have the re request handler type, you know where to import it from. Everything that you need to make that definition is right there. This is something I've struggled with across frameworks over and over again. So please, if you're working on something that supports TypeScript, make sure that your documentation is thorough, make sure that it's searchable and discoverable for people like me that are searching for how to do individual things using TypeScript with your product or your framework. Anyways, that's my quick rant on sometimes being super frustrated with the lack of detailed searchable documentation for TypeScript, implementing it into a framework. I don't think it's React's problem. I think it's the ecosystem's problem that is holding TypeScript back. It continues to get better and better. I continue to use TypeScript, but I do have times where I get very frustrated. So let me know what your thoughts are on the current state of TypeScript. Do you feel like the support is there for this to be something that we're fully bought into? Do we feel like it's a little bit lacking and still has room to improve? I definitely am optimistic about the future of TypeScript, but I also think there's a lot of area for improvement across the different pieces of the ecosystem to be able to use TypeScript successfully. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you next time.